guys. So today, I, what I wanted to do is create something a little bit uh, like a quick tip, but also a full haircut. So what I did was I took a mannequin that we had cut already. It was our long layered haircut with the face frame. So if you look back a couple videos, you'll see it. What I wanted to do is take that haircut and quickly turn it into a bob using a carving comb razor. So I'll show you guys how to do that. And then what we did was I showed you a couple versatile styles with it. So let me show you what the curly looked like here. And then now I'm gonna show you what the straight style looks like. That way it shows you guys that this haircut can work on both curly hair and straight hair because I knew I was going to get those questions. But also the great thing about this is it's such a quick technique so you can use it in the salon on a busy day when you need to establish a shape and then go in and dry cut and detail it. So I uh, hope you guys like it. Check it out. Here we go with our step by step. All right, so we start off this cut with sectioning from the parietal ridge back to mid crown across drawing a horizontal line across mid crown and then back across the parietal ridge so creating a nice rectangle shape on the top and then we section out the temple area directly behind the ear and clip that away so to start this cut we're going to take out about a four inch panel out of the back so pretty much finger width uh, so base it on that and then we're going to use our carving comb at a 45 degree angle and just use quick small strokes to create the line we're drawing a horizontal line all the way across the back of the head uh, and what that's going to do is because of the head shape it's going to create different elevations within the haircut so we're actually creating a bob shape by doing one cut. And this works really great on uh, medium to fine hair. Uh, with thicker hair, you might wanna take a couple sections, but uh, you can see that shape already unfolding. This is a quick way to cut a bob in the salon, get your shape stamped out in the haircut, and then go in and do some dry cutting later. So again, keeping that carving comb at a 45 degree angle. The great thing about the carving comb is that I'm using carving comb fine. There's a wide tooth version as well. The only difference is the actual comb that's on the end of it. So I'm using the fine teeth to get more precise sectioning and better combing. And then I go through and I just slide. It's 100% carve side. So it'll cut 100% of the hair on one side and then 50% of the hair on the other. So as I take down each section, I like to use the Donald Scott Prepare, which is a liquid tool glide. Um, it, it's conditioning for the hair, so it allows the razor to glide through the hair uh, nice and soft. And what we're gonna do now is create an undercut. Um, and this is a quick way to do it. it. You don't have to always shave an undercut. What I wanted to do is create some shorter pieces underneath the bob, which would allow the top layers, the heavier layers to just sit on top of it and create a little extra shape uh, in the haircut, but also remove weight. So I just go in, cut that bottom uh, occipital bone area a little shorter, and then you can see the rest falls over nice and long. Now we're going to go in with our 50% carve side. So the entire cut so far, we've been using the 100% carve side, which is just like using any type of razor. Now we're going in with the 50% carve side, which is just going to take out 50% of the hair and cut in some layers within the top section. So where I like to start that is right around the occipital bone. I feel like that's you know a good place where all that weight's going to stack up. So it removes that weight and adds that layering. And now we just go into the sides, we comb them straight down, and I just carve the line that I want. So if you want a straight horizontal line, more of a boxed bob feel, then you just draw a straight line. That's the beauty of using a razor. It's very, very easy to create those shapes, and it gives you a lot of freedom. So a little bit more prepare. Prepare is great too because it also helps with sectioning because it is a little bit of a conditioner. So um, even cutting hair with a scissor, it works really well. So you can see we're going through sliding medium stroke with the razor. I do want to create more of a shattered edge with this haircut. Um, obviously, anytime I use a razor, I'm looking for more of a free kind of textured look to the hair. So we go through, cut the line, and I go through the 50% carved side and just remove some of the weight. Now I'm going through, this is 100% carved. I'm just bringing that top panel, that rectangle that we created on the top, over directing it back and connecting it with the back layers. What I was saying to you guys earlier, this is a previously cut haircut. So this isn't a fresh mannequin, and this is a very salon reality kind of um, 
uh, situation because she had a layered haircut that we had done already. So just going through, and this is somebody that wants a little bit of a change, you can go through and create this bob effect, keeping the layers that she already had. And now we're just going through, I diffuse it. I used Bricado Mousse in there. And now I'm going to go through, do a little bit of dry cutting. This is uh, the tease cutting technique that I've used a lot, but I love doing it on curly hair because it's just, you're going through, you're looking for places that seem a little bit bulky in the cut and then just removing them with the tease cutting. For that, I used my Mizutani Puffin uh, five and a half inch scissor. It's my dry cutting scissor. So you can see the curly shape and how it expanded out there. This mannequin doesn't really have curly hair, so I went in and just did a diffuser. It did have a little bit of natural wave to it, so I hope you guys like the curly style. Now we're gonna get into the straight style. So we'll do a quick flat wrap, blow dry, polishing out those ends, finishing it up with our Vibra Straight Iron, and the goal with smoothing out hair is just to make sure that you polish it and follow the head shape with the hair. You want to see where it's heavy and where it's not. So now I'm going through just detailing the edges. Obviously, when you cut with a razor, you're going to have a little bit more of a shattered edge. So I go through there and just soften it with a little point cutting. And now I'm going through with the no thumbs technique, which if you want to learn, we have on past videos. So definitely check those out. So finishing up the outer perimeter, I just move it into the side. Still using a point cutting technique, so just using the tip of that scissor and going through and deciding what I want that line to look like in the end result. Key thing, a lot of people ask me about scissor length. The shorter your scissor, the stronger the tip of the blade is going to be. So when you want to go in and do this type of detail work, the Mizutani Puffin works great because it has a sharp tip, a sharp point on it, and also a really fat blade, so it has a lot of power when working with dry hair. Um, so we go in, we do a little bit of tease cutting. I'm doing more on the straight cut uh, as opposed to the curly cut. The curly cut, I just do a little bit to lighten it up. With curly hair, you like a little extra weight. With straighter hair, I like to add in more texture, more movement. So so uh, we just go in with the tease cutting technique and do it that way. I use the Bricado Carve to finish up this technique. Um, I love it. It's such a salon friendly look. So when you guys use this haircut in the salon, definitely tag me on Instagram at Free Salon Education so I can see your work. I'd love to see what you're doing with all of these videos. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, guys, if you made it all the way through to the end of this video, you're seeing this part right here. What I want you to do is put in the comments, I made it through till the end because I want to see how many of you out there are actually watching all the way through and you just became my new best friend. So thank you guys for watching this whole thing. Hit the share button, share it with all of your friends. I really appreciate all the support, guys. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks.